Okay, so let us continue with the questions where we ended. We ended on question number four. So let's see uh, where we are going to go now. So we are on question number five, which says use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram below. So we are using the set notation to describe the shaded region here. How do we do it? Now, here's how you do it. Check what has been shaded. Sorry, what has not been shaded. The entire set B has not been shaded. And the entire set C hasn't been shaded. And these two sets have been combined together. Meaning, B union C have not been shaded. What is, what is shaded is A only. This part which they have shaded is A only. How do we represent A only? Okay, so now this, we the meaning elements only found in what? In A, but not in what? But not in B union C. So, not there, only in A. So this is just A intersect B union C complement. So elements not found in B union C, only found in A. Because B and C are, are intersecting A at this particular point, that there and that there. A company with 600 shares declared a dividend of uh, 56,000. What amount will Betty receive for her 36 shares? So, 6,000 shares uh, goes for 56,000, right? What about 36 shares? Okay. How many? So how much will be the dividend? If you want, you can actually find the, the value of one share in terms of dividend. This is still going to give you um, uh, the same. Meaning we have 56,000, which is multiplying 36. So 6,000 X is 36 multiplied by 56, 0, 0, 0. So you divide by 6,000, you divide by 6,000. So these three zeros and those three zeros, yeah, end. And there we have ka x. And this is what 6 can go into 6, into 36, 6 times. By what? Uh, uh, 56. What are you getting? Talk to me. 3, 3, 6. So come here. What amount? So the person will receive 336 quarter. Question 7. The formula for the nth term of an, an arithmetic progression is 2n minus 3. What personal formula? E. Find the first term. So, they are, they are saying the formula for the nth term is 2n minus 3. This one has been already worked for you. If you, if you remember, question sometimes where they ask to say find the nth term, you may find something like this. Then they ask you to say find the shan. Now they skip that stage. They just gave it direct to you. Very simple. How do you find the first term? The fact that they have said first term, meaning n is 1. So you go there, you put 1 minus 3. So like that. So this becomes 2 minus 3. And the first term is just negative 1. So, term number one is just negative one. Let's go to B. B, common difference, if the sum of the eight terms is 48. If the sum is 48, for the eight terms, what is the common difference? Sum is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Like that. So, the sum is 48. n is 8. 8 over 2, 2, our first term is negative 1, that's what we are putting there, that's A, plus N is 8 minus 1, and D is what we are looking for. So 48, we've got 4, we've got negative 2, we've got positive 7D, and this is 7 times D, we get positive 7D. We can now expand there, negative 8, and 28d. 4 times 7 is 28. Meaning 48, this comes, this side becomes positive 8. 
is equal to 28D. Meaning, so 8, 8 plus 48, we get 56, which is equal to 28D. Over 28, over 28. Meaning, our D is 2. You put there, D is equal to 2. Question 8. If A is equal to that and B is this, so we'll be answering four, 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 four questions uh, until we find the one, until we finish the, the paper. This is very easy. Find A transpose. So A T the power A to the power T means A transpose. What does that mean? How many rows do we have from here? We've got how many rows? Three rows and how many columns? There are only two columns. Meaning, if you want to, to, to transpose this matrix, meaning we need to change this order to 2 by 3. We swap them. Meaning, a, each row becomes a column. So, negative 1 and 2 is a, is, becomes a column. This row becomes a column. 1 and 4 becomes a column. Like that. Done. You are done. You come here and report it. So, you say A transpose is equal to negative 1, 3, 1. 204 and you are done one mark given that this matrix is multiplying this matrix and that is, is equal to this one how do we find the x really hmm guys we are very lenient so when multiplying matrices it's row by column so this row must multiply all the elements in that column and as long as you are dealing with the same column you add those products what do i mean come here so negative two times three so negative 2 times 3. I will say plus because I'm still in the same column. 1 times 1. 1 times 1. Is there another column? No. I'll close. I'll close there. It's done. X times 3. Okay. X times 3. Plus negative 2 times 1. All this is equal to negative 5 and 7. So, can you fail to, of course, this part here, we don't want it. Because there is no x there. Because this is 2 times, the, uh, this will give you negative 6 plus 1, right? And here will give you 3x minus 2. Okay, we, we are adding, remember, so negative 6 plus 1, which is true. And here, x times 3, we get 3x. And here, negative 2 times 1, we get negative 2. So, we say minus 2. And this is equal to negative 5 and 7. Can you see something strange here? Can you see it? Let's keep on working. So we go to negative 6 plus 1, we get negative 5. And here we, this one remains the same. Is equal to negative 5 and 7. What do you see? That these two are equal, right? Yes. Meaning we are doing something correct. Meaning even these two must be equal. Meaning 3x minus 2 must be equal to 7. So 3x is equal to 7 plus 2. Meaning 3x is equal to 9 over 3 over 3 and x is equal to what 3 you come here report x is equal to 3 we are done with four questions i will see you next when we look for question 9 up to 12 see you make sure that you subscribe and follow for more